You see, they ruined your sibling relationship because they've been jealous since day one. And the thing is, they just never outgrew their jealousy. It only grew stronger. They could never just put their own emotions aside to be loving towards you. They made you pay the price for their insecurities. They made you their punching bag. They abused you instead of loving you and protecting you. They abused you more than they protected you. Now, they want to get into your good graces, but they want for you both to just ignore the fact that they were abusive to you. They want you to ignore all they did and act like it didn't happen, but no, you cannot ignore it and you cannot forget it. They didn't do anything to make amends for what they did. They didn't do anything to seek repentance for what they did. They didn't offer you any apology. They didn't take any type of accountability. This person can be very mean. They can start drama, they can be very immature, and they don't want to take accountability for when they are stirring the pot and egging things on. When they're stirring the pot and when they're egging things on, causing drama in other people's lives, they don't want to admit that. They don't want to take accountability to the fact that they were the ones that started it. Until one day, you got fed up. You got so fed up of what they have done that you finally just went off on them. You told them off. You completely, you completely hurt their feelings to a point where you brought some truth directly to their face and made them look in the mirror. And what they felt was guilt, guilt because they knew that you were right. And they knew that you had a point to what you were saying. Now, they respect you to a point where they're not gonna even dare cross you again because they know what can come. But it's what they get for the lifetime of abuse that they put you through. And they better be lucky that all you did was hurt them with words because you, you could have. You could have gotten physical if you wanted to, but you didn't. You hurt him only with words. They better be lucky that that's all you that's all you did. And whatever you said to them, they better be lucky that what you said wasn't worse, because the things that they've said to you and about you behind your back were way worse. And the thing is, they would deserve it because of what they did to you. And the stuff that they're doing behind your back. And the stuff that they did to your face. Now they're feeling foolish. Because all of their actions that they took against you. It all backfired. And it came smacking them in the face. You may want nothing to do with this person anymore. You may just love them from a distance. You may just not rock with them the same way. But whatever the case is, you know that you're protecting your peace now. Because you know that you are worthy of having a good sibling relationship. And if they're not willing to give that to you and to be that for you, that's their choice. Because you're a good sibling already. And you can be sibling like to your soul family i said the other people that are like a sibling to you let go of the people including your own siblings even sometimes sometimes if it's your own blood siblings it's okay to let certain people go when they are causing more harm than healing to your life